Well, welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel. It's October in the Okanagan Highlands. And we're about to take a walk. And I want to start out here by looking at these beautiful new trees that have self-started up here on my pad. It's kind of hard to see, of course, but nonetheless, you can see there's some several different trees that have seeded themselves and are starting to grow. And in a few years, I'll thin them out a little bit and make this pad a great place for a future uh, Okanagan Highlands, Okanagan Forest Channel camp. You see, I had this dug out a number of years ago, and you've actually can see this in other in other videos. But what we're going to do now is just spend a little time and look at the beauty of the forest. The trees are just simply spectacular at this time of year. And uh, I think if there's a heaven on earth, it's the Okanagan Highlands in October when the sun is out like today. So just go ahead and come along. We're going to take a little walk and I'll try not to move the camera around too much, but I want you to see the beauty of this place. And what I'll do is I'll try to pause from time to time so that you can get a view. And there you go. There's one worth looking at. Now what's interesting is I look up there in the hills and I see that somebody's got a fire going. So um, there's somebody up there at this time of year. The other thing I would say is that I've got a hunter's orange vest on and the reason for it is very simple and that is that uh, today is the op opening day of hunting season and I'm not hunting but I want to be seen in the woods if somebody's out there doing what they're gonna do let me just say hello to all of you you can see my hunter orange there um, again it's a beautiful day and we want to take a, a walk and have a look around here. So I hope you enjoy um, what we're about to see. Just be patient with me. You know, um, I had a tough day the other day when I drove up. I didn't get here until, oh, almost uh, 10 o'clock at night. And there's no, there's no moon. And so as I went to open the gate, there was the Milky Way showing clearly across the skyline. And it was as beautiful as could be. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm walking down the, the simple road that I have for getting up to my upper pad. Here, it's going to be in the sun a little bit, but let's take a look over here, too. That's across the way. Now, that's over there, you can see that's government land. And there's been a little logging up on top. But they haven't cut this piece right close to me. I suspect they may cut that next. And there are some people, of course, that will say, oh, that's terrible. They shouldn't cut those trees. But after all, forestry and trees are a renewable resource. And I like the wood house that I live in. And so I think that you really need to remember that these are resources used by all of us. And uh, when you're fortunate enough to get out into the outdoors and enjoy nature, you really want to do everything you can to appreciate its multiple use. All right, well, we're coming down to the main road. Let me just pan back around for a minute and look back up the hill at those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trees up there around my upper pad. It's a beautiful day today, absolutely beautiful. Now, I wouldn't be surprised 
if at some time during this trip we might hear a rifle retort and that will be because up in the mountains above us there are people hunting. It could happen. Well, it's not going to be easy getting down to the main road here. All right. And this is the main road that I use to come up to my container cabin. And this is on my 40 acres. And again, let's just stop here for a minute and take a look with a still camera at that beautiful view. That is really just something to be seen. It just is really just about as nice as one would ever want to enjoy in the out and out in the outdoors. So let's move on a little farther down the trail and be patient with me as I do what I can not to bounce the camera around. But I gotta walk. That's part of the deal. Now you can see down through the trees, there's my, my camp. There's my container cabin. Let me get down off the road here and we'll stop and get a look through the trees. There we go. And again, it's kind of in the sun. I apologize for that, but there you can see down into my my cabin area in the lower pad. And uh, we're going to continue and hike on from here. We're going to take this trail. Um, I want to walk down and see how much water's in the creek. I don't know if we'll make it that far with the camera, but we're going to walk down. Actually, we crossed two tricks, two creeks on this trail. One of the things that's kind of interesting here is that this land is mine, but uh, it also, there are range rights, and so there are, here, here you can see one of my old, old business cards, completely sun bleached. Um, but anyway, there are range cattle here, and as a result, uh, they kind of help keep the trail open, at least thus far. I wonder how rough it'll be down below. We'll just have to look and see. But I'm gonna pause here for a minute again, and I want you to look at this view up ahead. It really is worth seeing and worth enjoying. Okay, let me go ahead and pause. Right in front of us is where one creek comes down, but as you look up at the mountain, it really is spectacular and just beautiful blue sky today. The trees are as pretty as they are at any time of the year. And I have to say it's probably, I'm gonna guess right now in the 50s. Um, it's a little bit chilly. I have to laugh a little bit. This morning when I got up, I uh, decided I needed to take a shower. Hadn't done that in a day or so. So uh, the first thing I wanted to do was check the temperature. Well, inside the cabin, it was about 75. I went out to the outhouse and it was 42. But outside, it was 26. Now for those of you in the rest of the, the world that use, um, you know, metric, I know here in the United States we're kind of silly and it doesn't work as well as metric. The, our friends to the north in Canada figured that out too. But uh, we use Fahrenheit here, and so that, those are the temperatures that I just gave you. 
Well, in the end, I did go outside and wash my hair and kind of take a shower, if you can call it that, in 26 temperature. It wasn't half bad, really invigorating. I have to tell you, it was invigorating. And the truth of the matter is, when you've got such a toasty warm cabin to go back into, and you're only out outside for a brief time, it's not so bad. It's not so bad at all. Now we're going to have to walk through some brush. It looks to me like this creek here, which is a seasonal one, has still got some water running. Not a lot, but a, a little water. And let's stop for a moment and take a look at it. So you can see that it's, it's still running. And that's good because you want to have that, 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 that moisture. That's really very important. Um, it's good for the wildlife. It's good for everything. And in fact, in the spring, this creek is uh, pretty serious. It's, it's moving along pretty good. Um, but at this, at this time of year, at the very end of the summer season, there's just a little trickle, and you can see. But there's enough water here for wildlife to get, get what they need. And I got a I got to pan back up here again above the creek. Just look at these beautiful trees. Let the camera adjust for a minute so you can see it. But it's just absolutely so beautiful. It's hard to, hard to imagine. Just right there, see the big, beautiful, puffy clouds. It's just, what a joy. What an absolute joy. Oh, there's a... A local resident that's not particularly happy with me being here, it sounds like. He's scolding me. Now we're going to turn and we're going to go down this creek a ways. I hope we can get through the, through the brush without too much difficulty. You can see the creek growing here, or going down too. And the thing is, there's not much water, but there's water. And the, the beauty of the trees, well, I know, I keep talking about it, but... It's just lovely, absolutely lovely being here. So let's go ahead and move on a little bit farther. I'm afraid the camera's gonna get kinda bent around a little bit as we move through the brush. I apologize. Hopefully we didn't have too much. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. I think we'll be a little better off if we get down here a little farther. There we go. Well, I don't know. There's quite a bit of brush. Quite a bit of brush. Be patient with me for a minute while I go through it. I haven't actually walked on this trail for a good while, so you can find almost anything when you haven't been on a trail for a while. The one thing I do want to point out here, which is I think kind of very attractive, is um, look at these big trees that were left on the ground right there. You can see that huge stump. Now that stump was probably cut who knows, almost a hundred years ago, judging from the whittling on it, um, when this first opened up. And you can see some other big trees like that right here on my property. And those are from probably when this forest was cut for the very first time. Those are absolutely monster trees and have been, well, they were fell a long time ago. And you can see that these parts of the tree were so big that they didn't take them out of the woods. They just left the chunks laying here. Of course, in those days, there was an abundance and a lack of conservation uh, compared to what we do today. 
and I suspect they thought they had plenty of wood so they didn't need to take those or those wouldn't cut very well at the mill or some other consideration that's beyond us in today's world. Okay, we're gonna have to duck down again. Take a big look at that big old chunk of wood and continue down the hill. Well, there's a lot of a brush down low, and it it uh, raises havoc with my uh, my monopod. I try to keep the ca camera balanced, and the way I do that is I use a monopod like a plumb. In other words, it kind of gravity keeps it pointed in the right direction until a bush comes along and grabs it. I think it'll be a little better once we get. Past this tree right here. Well, yeah, okay. We're back out in the sun. going to pause here for just a minute. All right, let's stop here. And I just want to take a look up above us. There's the backside of my container cabin um, up on the lower pad above us. This creek goes right down past it and uh, it um, you can hear the creek running really very well um, in the in the winter time or in the spring when the, there's a lot of melt. What's also interesting, and this is relatively new, I want you to look just directly below the container cabin. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a there's a stump of a, a tree that came down. You can see it right here, the limbs and such. This is a, a brand new one that just came down not too long ago. And it was a weakened tree. And so the wind came through and blew it down. Sure as can be. Now we got to cross back over the creek and go through some more brush. So be, uh, be a little patient with me. You can also, here's another view kind of of looking up at the container and through the trees you can see the American flag that's posted because we like to post the American flag when we're in camp. Okay, we're going to cross the creek again. And so far I haven't fallen down, but there's always a first time. Now this is thick brush here and they're stickers. So you're going to have to just be patient with me for a minute. Well, I try to get through the stickers in the brush. I apologize, but we're going to have to look at the ground while we wriggle and so on through here. All right, let me come out this side and I'll have something else to show you. Here, here we are. And again, if I can get my footing, this is a big cottonwood on my property. And the sun's coming through it, so it's kind of hard to look at directly. But look at the spectacular color of the, of the light coming through those leaves. Now, this is a big old cottonwood that's been here forever. And I think it's seen its best day. But it still, it still seems to be doing all right. We'll take one more look at it. Big old cotton, the sunshine coming through. But that's 
That's one big tree. And of course it's in this in this draw for a reason. There was more water here. And so it stayed in the draw, or I should say it prospered in the draw, and really helped. Now we're continuing to move. Here, be patient with me. You see, if I was a cow, I could get through this a lot easier. Or I should say, if I were the height of a cow, it would be a whole lot easier. Let's go ahead and kind of fight our way through the brush again. All right, here we go. We're back down along the edge of the stream. But look again at that massive. Maybe we can get a, a view so that the sun is shining on it from another direction. Sorry, sorry. But here's the, here's the stream bed, covered in leaves, and here's that massive, massive cottonwood. Looking up to the sky. He's a beauty. And then there are all the trees in the ravine that we just walked through. All right, well, let's proceed on a little bit farther if we can and see what else we can see. Well, I've got my fingers crossed. The going's a little bit easier here for the moment. I wonder how long that'll last. I'm going to turn around and see if we can get another look at the cottonwood because it's a big one. Yeah. Here we go. Such a beautiful tree on a day like today. Really spectacular. Wow. All right, back into bushwhacking through the brush. Let's see what we can find down here a little farther. We continue to follow the edge of the, the stream. Let's see how we're doing. There we go. The question is, again, it'd be so much better if I were a cow. I could get through these cow trails with much less difficulty. But now we're down into the stream bed here, and I don't see any water. We had water up above, but it's pretty much dry down here. All right. We're finally coming out into when I first bought my property. Um, this was a nice meadow, and now it's kind of grown up with some brush. But it really is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spot. Um, really pretty. So let's go ahead and go down there. And what I want to do is walk down to the stream, and then because of the time on the camera. We probably better turn it off and try for a second. Okay, we're now down in my meadow of sorts below. Below the, the cabin. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk over here like this. Okay, now we're out standing on the road. There you go. Just look at the trees. Blue sky. It's beautiful. I know. I, 
I tend to ramble on. I don't mean to do that, but I really do enjoy what I can see. There's going the other way down the road. Okay, let's walk down to the creek, or try to, and then I think I'd better turn this thing off and start another video because it's hard to, to load it when it gets too big. I had a camp in this meadow when I first bought the property. It was very nice. Here's another view of the, of the meadow. It really is pretty. Okay. The well, last time I was down here, this was a trail down to the creek. I wonder if it still is. We'll have to look and see. I wonder how much water's running. Probably not very much at this time of year. In the spring, I have video of it running um, with a lot of force, a lot of water. But at this time, there isn't, there really isn't too much. But it's, it's here. Now my property continues across the creek and goes up the hill a ways. So the creek is all on my property. And we'll come down here and we'll look down. And you see we're down in the timber now, so it's, it's gonna be shaded. And there'll be pockets of sunlight, but it's mostly shaded. And what I'm going to do is, you can see the, the stream is actually running pretty good for this time of year. It could be a lot worse. And it goes up the hill like that. I want to thank you for taking the time to go on this, well, should we call it a hike or should we call it bushwhacking through the brush. I'm not quite sure what we should call it. But you can see right here, for example, this tree that has been un, uh, uprooted. In part of uh, the reason for that is that there has been a lot of water coming through here when there's runoff. And you can see other down timber here and there as you look up, up through the forest. Well, again, thank you for visiting the Okanagan Forest Channel. And thank you very much for coming along on this bushwhack hike, I guess it is. I hope you have a nice day. And if you saw something in this uh, video that you enjoyed or that you thought was worth uh, thinking about or seeing, do drop me a note. I like to hear from people. I like to know that there are other people out there that value this kind of natural world as much as I do. Thanks so much. Take care and be safe.